clashing now. Bottom left hand side for the Night Elves. He could follow Moon into the winner bracket semifinal. It is Law Lyot. It could be a winner bracket without a single Chinese. If Law Lyot wins here. No ghoul pulls as far as we see it. This should be... Oh, is it a ghoul? Is this blue dot too fast to be an acolyte? Acolytes are really fast, though. Yeah. That is just an archer, as uh, the Ancient of War is already up. And 1 to 0 trying to disrupt this early. No cam, as always. That means uh, some prize pool reduction. Oh, oh, oh. Nice little block right there. Lightning shield doesn't really matter. So what's 1 to 0's plan? Uh, early aggression? Or is he going creeping himself? Ooh, sneaky whisk positioning by Law Lion. Use the coil. Oh, sick detonate! That is such a nice game plan here. Hiding the wisp in a position where nothing of melee uh, can attack. Then wait until you trigger the lightning shield with the DK because then the co uh, coil is on cooldown. And then detonate that lightning shield. Wow. That's pretty sick. Slip is also nice. The demon hunter can come in and pummel. We have no immolation. Oh, wisp, 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 wisp. Oops. But the second pair of slippers. Orange is the new hero. Lol. Poor ghouls. That is wisp number three. It's getting quite excessive here. Acolyte, uh, saved for now. Tech is rolling on both sides. Usually you kind of want an expansion, but Lawlight is not a fan of this. W one to zero realizing, hey, there's no emulation. I can do pretty much whatever. And boots now as well. Yeah, this is almost old school night elf play. Mana burn. Evasion, be disruptive, not creeping up too fast, not getting surrounded. That would be nice, but with boots, you can get out there easy. Archers are coming in. Um, that Demon Hunter is losing a lot of HP, but it will be easy to heal up as he's not using any mana, just tanking the damage. Oh, that Archer Trap. Wake up, wake up. Beautiful. Ooh, you can see that Lolite prepared for this. Now the burns come in, so he can't be coiled. So far, I'd give Lawlight the edge, despite the three wisps falling. There's still enough to rush tier three, go for the lores. With green spots and the shop, there should also be level three in no time. Last second. Many, many years ago, Remind showed the way with hiding archers and used them as sentry wards. Well, Lyot is picking that up now, big time. Naga it is, so far, only on 1 to 0, so Lyot is still waiting for the tech to finish. And not having level 3 is an issue. Feels like 1 to 0 is not giving Law Lyot an opening at all, but now he says hello as the creep spin started. Close to level 3 on the DK, but oh boy, are we... Oh! Surround! Might be a little bit of a ruse, as the Demon Hunter is so tanky, he's trying to fight out. Ritual Dagger to deny experience. This is a TP, or is it not? No coil. Is he walking this off? Ooh, three ghouls down. 
Four ghouls down. He can use dust, but Naga is hurt. Very good. Oh, 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 oh. Calculates it and sees oh, I can't get that here. Demon Hunter back. Got some XP. Same for the Naga. And we rush tier three. Go for Lores. Tremendous play by Lawlight. Prevents level three, forces a potion. And just keeps up the pressure. This demon hunter with the double slippers, man. Such a bully. Doesn't want to spend too much HP and mana. As only 500 moon juice is remaining. But yeah, keeping the DK away from level 3 for 5 minutes. It's impressive. Really good control from both sides. No hero has fallen. 1 to 0, maybe a little overcommitment on the ghouls, but that's about it. When the DK is hurt like this, you gotta play a relatively slow and patient early game. Always gotta be careful to not be caught by Dryads, Naga. But the Naga will fall off in the late game. And now, you gotta raise the question, is Lolaya too aggressive? Because he himself is not level 3. The DK is. Needs a big kill. Needs like 30%. But that's a fiend down. That's a way to get to level 3. Staff isn't there. If he wants to eject, he needs the town portal or run away. Or wait for Rejuve, as that's up soon. Naga, just dead! That's how you get level 3. 1 to 0, this is the state of the game where you want to prepare your... Ghoul push, but the ghouls were all taken out in the early mid game. So, f is Frenzy even necessary? He can use like four ghouls for that push. Everything seems so delayed. And Lolite, he can still, in the worst case, he can still fall back, creep his side of the map. This is. This is dominant at this point. Invo potion up as well. Dodges the coil, the one that was remaining. And yeah, 1 to 0 in this matchup didn't look too scary. These two are practice partners for a long time. I said this in a previous cast. Whenever. Uh, Lawlight is up against Happy, or 1 to 0 is up against another strong Night Elf, these two are playing with each other. So they know each other inside out, and with high level undead heroes, there might be a way back, but even the Naga that he got like three minutes ago is only level one. And here on Night of Zonia, the light is the dominant force. But it was 1 to zero's decision to let this go through. Super Wells, level 3. No staff, no orb though. That seems a bit problematic as we're unfolding bears. Resources are there. And we are getting levels. Oh, but sick interception. 1 to 0 has no town portal anymore. But a packed Naga with good damage. Another fiend falling. That's fiend number two falling. Also, the ghouls just wiped out, shocked. One to zero realizing that the demon hunter has no TP, but he has two rings and two slippers, and it feels like nothing can touch him. Or can it? The fiend shots. You can't disjoint them. The lich is falling. The DK seems safe. He's just mauling over him. GG. 
So one-sided. Oy, 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 oy. Lol, I had leaving 1 to 0, no chance. Drinking from the Disneyland mug that he got when I was there with him, I think. Follow the law. Yeah, 1 to 0 has to break the law now. That was... That was... That was very one-sided. Enabled... By two slippers. And then dominance. Never let 1 to 0 go. Kept him on low levels. Um, crucial here. The goblin camp in the middle of the of the map. That creepjack with the naga cost him four ghouls. And then you can't go for the mid-game harass. I think still 1 to 0 plays this way too careful. His aggression style that happy dictates. It's not working out apparently. We go once again into the game where we are on concealed hill. Look at this. Ancient of War at the shop. What is that? Is that something else than a demon hunter? Or is this once again a super aggressive demon hunter? DH it is. On Amazonia, he made the choice to not play with emulation. Here you can definitely do it. The merchant is a little tricky, but if you follow this up with the crap, it's pretty good actually. God, I forgot how annoying you are when it comes to channel points. I will never do this again. Okay, one to zero. You need a different solution. This is loser's map. Acolyte killed immediately. Whoops. And it is emulation. Yeah, I like that. As the camp is a little more difficult. And it's so easy to creep the Murloc crap camp before. Nice. So will one to zero sniff this out? He knows it. He saw it. Will he harass it? No. Just goes for the safe level to Demon Hunter. Yeah, one to zero is not falling for this. Not spending. Uh, any mana. Well, I got level 2 only now, so coil only now. Very tame early game. But Lolite with a jump start, thanks to the creep route. And now falling back has it a little more safe. If. Oh. Okay, both know that they are safe for the time being. 1 to 0 knows that he will not be harassed in the next 15 seconds from here on, or 10 seconds from here on. So yeah, big damage on these ghouls, but he has the time to send them all back. Only an illusion about to scout. They made it to the shop and the m crap, not to the natural. Good evasion creeping from both of them.
Ooh, coil on an illu. But you can cancel healing with an illusion, so using that coil is, I think, uh, is justified. So unlike the game prior, where they were both we neutralizing each control. other and preventing level 3 from each other, this is a very different game. But still, no harass whatsoever. Rather creeping. I'm not too sure if I like it. Lolite has arches on the high ground. I guess. <laughs> Sip of coffee in the middle of the match, why not? One to zero did nothing in the past twenty seconds. And I still think the ultra late game, it belongs to the night elf. So you gotta do something to push the power spikes backwards. Kill wisps, harass, etc. etc. And that is not happening. Very different approach to most undeads. You could play Banshees late game. We've seen an attempt to this, but 1 to 0, if he hates one thing in the world, or two things in the world, it's A, tournaments with webcam duty, <laughs> and it's Banshees. And tier 3 is almost there. Dryad's coming, Adept upgrade coming. 1 to 0 inches away from tier 3 with a not leveled Lich, that is kind of the norm. Equipment is fine. And then Lolite has to hold this one big push. No expo to fall back on. No crazy levels to rely on. Big mana potion though. Okay, jackpot. Now red spot and then one to zero is in good shape. And he will be able to push this. Oh, he pushes it now without the red. That's a little early, but the Demon Hunter is so hurt. Gets the potion as well. Scroll the Beast is not what he wanted. Nova connects big. Ah, this is already so much better for 1-0 to zero than the entire first game. Big, big, big catch. Item is not going to the undead. All right, but Frenzy is finished now. We're waiting for destroyers and then we're good. But falling back, giving Lawlight a little bit more time. No third hero by 1 to 0. I wonder if the plan was to go for the tavern, but now he abandons that. 
as he is not near. He left five supply open before this push. So I think, yeah. That will result in pretty quick five and three levels. This comes down to who have his, uh, who has the better fight. Lots of mana on the DK if he wants to. Demon Hunter did a good job burning though. So if you want to use a coil, that's a potion. Destroyer far up front. Staff used. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage in the back line. But now the ghouls are connecting towards the dryads. A lot of damage done, but no kills thus far at least. Solid destroyer control and the TP out. That was not a single unit killed. Whoa. Only forced the big potion. There was two fiends hurt and the destroyer. What the hell? And the destroyer very hurt. Impressive. Yeah, one to zero with the supply lead now. Levels are getting there. Naga third finally. Maybe with home turf advantage, something's doable for Lawliot. He can rebuild up to 50. And Vamp Aura is pretty helpful. What about... What about talents? Couldn't squeeze it in, could he? And that's the knock on the door that you want to prevent for as long as possible. Coil Nova. Use the potion against it. We used so much moon juice before. Definitely a problematic situation. Moonwell down, stuck at 50 again. It just finished. And the rest of the army was busy at the fountain. Doesn't want to TP, can't TP. And away we go, man. So much nuke. Staff out for now. That was not even the second potion. Lolai, you're in a world of trouble. He's trying to get the last drips of moon juice. But this was well played. Despite being a slow early in mid game, that creep check on the right hand side is what really made the difference. Anti magic doesn't work. And yeah, Lolai knows that really wasn't his game. That all went 2 1 2 0. This derailed rather quickly. And we get a last map. Not the most hype series so far as both of these games were pretty one-sided. But now we go to Northern Isles as the Night Elf map. And that's interesting to see because for a long time... Night Elves kind of abandoned this and didn't want to use it. Times are changing. One more map at the opening day of TP League April. Lin is waiting in the winner bracket semi-final. This was 1 to zero's map. The neutral map went to Lawliot. Can he steal this map away? Will he be playing more aggressive? All up for grabs. You don't want to be in this lower bracket. The loser of this face is Labyrinth, and there's also Sock and Colorful, plus the losers of Happy versus Moon, and the winner of this versus Lin. High class competition. 1 to 0 left hand side, Law Light right hand side. And with decisive pushes, and some early map control, 1 to 0 can do some big damage here. All right. Leaning forward, 
close to the screen. Similar to happy, I guess. Must be a demon hunter, right? Yeah. Even when Keeper was the metal ally, it oftentimes moving away from it. So, items are important. And decision making. How aggressive you're gonna play this. And how well can you defend it? Creeps aren't woken up yet, so no additional bloodlust or anything. One to zero can surprise us all by expanding. Ooh, and there is a chance for that. Immolation Demon Hunter once again to creep this one. And 1 to 0, selling the town portal, getting a skull, no ritual dagger. This doesn't have to be an expansion, could just be a fake. Could be a tier 2 expansion. Parry up for the demon hunter as well as level 2. Lolight scouts this, doesn't detonate yet. And crystal ball, okay. Instantly scouting for an expansion, and there is one. Two base, two base! Lawlight expanding on tier. Whoa! Alright. The answer to the undead expansion is your own expansion. So who cancels who? No detonate here, a little bit of extra XP. And Watch Zero has a clear goal in mind. Can the demon hunter retreat? a lot of time. Archer's in position, so is the Wisp. Deton oh no, detonate! Skeletons rain freely, but there's two more. Mana burn again, but it has to be a cancel. Money detonate though. Lightning shield on an Archer. But I can't really connect, otherwise it's gonna be dead. Double AoE is painful, so is losing two Archers. Wow, one to zero with this early aggression. This paying of dividends now. And the crystal ball reveals the next archer. This early game is quite a disaster. One to zero again, not losing a single unit. Except the skeletons, of course. Thank you, Hot X-Ray, for the 23 month resub. And Lawlight is down to a demon hunter. Expo was delayed. No tech running. This Night Elf Tier 1 expansion is always so greedy. Kafik, thank you for the 70 month, 75 month resub. Ooh, the detonates weren't on point. The counter expo very greedy. As we have another ghoul push coming in. Hard to make decisions now. Attack, cancel that expo, try to, it's finished already. Oh, this is one to zero excellency. After two losses in a row, this feels like he got Lolliot's number today. After the disaster on Amazonia, he found his mojo. Another archer down. That's number three or four. And that is... Probably a costly, but not too costly cancel. Wow, even the ghoul, even the both ghouls save to the side and the, ah, not the third. Archer damage obviously lacking. Lolliot farms level three on these ghouls and skeletons, but this is so worth it. Gold is not an issue for one to zero in this stage of the game. And a deny. <sighs> 
two base, one base. Lolaya decided to tech at some point. But yeah, you gotta rely on the late game. Is this a panda game? Might very well be. We take a look at the bottom left hand side. We don't see a second crypt yet. Did he finish that already or are we waiting for it? There it is. We're still waiting for undead players to reintroduce gargoyles. Mana stone, okay. This is a lot cheaper on the uh, emulation now. It's level two emulation. He felt so far behind that he decided to go for level two emulation to get level four quickly. Okay, fiends it is, lich it is. But that's an easy game for one to zero now. Tier three on the way. Loliath, he is arriving at tier two. He's getting that second base up. He is getting level four as well. But how do you deal with two base on that? No second hero just yet. Solo experience on the Demon Hunter. A little bit of extra experience as well. If you don't have a second hero, Panda it is. Okay. Banking on the fact that he has time. And he can creep. But I'm not sure if he has that time. What is he removing to the middle of the map? Could also creep, could make his pit stop. It's gonna be tough to cancel the Night of Expansion now with the army he has. But alright. This is Ring of Regen. He used the Mana Stone already, damn. And yeah. No Town Portal, bad item, sells it immediately. 1 to 0 is giving his opponent some time. He wants the big late game fights with a huge tier 3 lead. But lower level heroes. Immolation might save the game for Lawlight. The decision making to go for level 2 Immolation to creep faster. Because Panda and Demon are beasts. Both of them, if they're leveled well. How can the Night Elf buy time at this stage of the game? And will he rely on Talents? We haven't seen Talents this entire series. Because in game one, Lolai didn't need them. On map two, he never had resource for them. Feels like it's time for them soon. But he needs so much. He's super low on Lumber. Heal scroll. Okay. Evasion is lacking, of course. You can reskill later if you find the, the resources. Oh, the Shredder will even out the lumber issues. The Knight of Build, if he decides to go for Talents, is, of course, very lumber heavy. You need the spell, you need two bear upgrades, and you need a Talent upgrade. But creeping has always been... The big strength of Lawlight. He got the next consumable, only a scroll of the beast, very unlucky with these items. Panda's very hurt, and a 1 2 0 is knocking on his door. With Frenzy, Bear only. Oh my god, there. he's not even tier 3. 1 2 0 could decide the series right here, right now. Taking care of the production, no Breath of Fire available, no Town Portal available.
And we got heal scrolls, mana potions, and an invul on the ledge. Big damage in Lola, it's main base. Lore down, Moonwell down. I don't think there's a shop even for orb and staff. I feel like there's not a single unit lost in this entire push. Not really, right? Insane game by 1 to 0. Ooh, this is scary. Coil use, Demon Hunter about to be dead. Needs the redo, but he just wipes out the entire base. The entire base. A thousand gold for Lawlight. This looks so easy. And that's a big timing push. If you let an undead expand, that's what you get. He's not satisfied with killing the entire production. No, 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 no. Panda in trouble. This is no more mana on the DK. If Lola it holds here, it's a half a miracle, but the demon hunter staff, but right there, dead. The panda can't do this. Uh-oh, handshake. One, two, zero. Second undead in the playoffs. We're gonna get Happy versus Moon and Lin versus Law uh, versus one, two, zero in the low and the winner bracket semifinal. Very good series by one to zero. I feel like Law Lion today not up to the task. Amazonia was super good. Unconcealed. He let 1 to 0 creep a little bit too much, and then the creep check on the right hand side. And here, the decision for the greedy expansion. That kinda killed him. And fantasy brackets have been broken, ladies and gentlemen. I'm already off on this. <laughs> but that's not only me. This was pretty much a 50 50 matchup. 1 to 0 clearly did his homework. And with timings that Law Lion wasn't predicting. There we go. We got four people who predicted everything. Langbro, Para Cooper, Disproved by Hell, Bartle, and Morph or Geheimtip. Okay, nobody has everything wrong. <laughs> good for us <laughs> that's the bracket as it stands winner bracket happy moon lin 120 and this will be best of five territory everybody from here on out two games a day both best of five and the lower bracket is sock versus colorful and law light versus labyrinth And this is tomorrow, starting at 1 p.m. Central European Summertime, Moon versus Happy, and Lin versus 1 to 0 afterwards. You shall not miss this, everybody. The lower bracket then, the day after. Can 1 to 0 show the undead the way to beat Lin? Happy couldn't do it. Labyrinth couldn't do it. It's down to the necromancer to show us the way.